Hi there, my name is Kendrick, and today I have Rachel back in my channel, and we're going to go catch up with her, and she's going to share with us some of the journeys that she's had over the years since I last interviewed her like several years ago. So uh, Rachel, welcome back, and uh, please let everyone know what your type is. I am an INTJ, uh, so I am a um, NITE, last sleep consume, missing play and uh, masculine feminine. All right. And then why do you say missing play? I'm kind of curious. Instead of like play last. Is it yeah. <laughs> I guess that's the way I've been thinking about it. It's when I'm trying to type people, I find it easiest to think about what they're, what they're missing kind of in terms of the animals. Like what seems to be not really there very much. So I don't know if that's the way I think of it. Okay. But I guess I do have it, just not very much. <laughs> Right. Um, so I want to start today's discussion, actually, um, with your journey with Playlast specifically, which is S-E-T-E, -E, so extrovert sensing and extrovert thinking. Um, it's been, what, four years or so since I last spoke with you? I mean, I, I did a yeah. panel interview with you recently, but like, I mean, like it's like one on one interview. Yeah, uh, I don't remember, but a while ago. Yeah, it was like a long time ago. Um, and I'll, I'll give you some feedback too of how I feel like based on inter yeah. interaction. Yeah. That would um, be great. <laughs> yeah. um, because I I vividly remember our interview still, even though it was a long oh, time. Because yeah. I have SI, so even though it's in the bottom, it's masculine, mm -hmm. so I don't I don't forget this stuff. Right. Um, okay, so let's go over the different um, parts of that S-E-T-E -E playlist of yours. Um okay. Let's go start with with something general. What has your journey been like? Have you been practicing it? And what has kind of been the result of you practicing it? Like, what did you notice that happened that's good, you know? Right. Uh, well, honestly, I think out of all the things that are demon for me, the play is where I get more, more difficulties. Like I've been working on the demon F FI and my demon SE and, but play, play is still kind of tricky. <laughs> um, oh, what was the other part of your question again? Oh no. Uh, yeah, don't, don't worry. Um, just, just, just relax. <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> um, so my question is, um, you know, your play is ST, right? Yeah. So it's like block banging, it's in the physical world. Yeah. Usually collaborations with the tribe, you know, it could be, um, you know, moving, cooking together, cleaning together, construction, you know, playing sports together. Like it, it's it's more physical in nature than than than, than not, right? Um, and then also, it's also gathering uh, facts from the tribe. Um, so that's, those are the aspects of it. So I, I do have more follow-up questions, but let's start with those so I don't overwhelm you. Yeah. I mean, I have, I've been working on sort of gathering physical experiences and facts more, but it's still been, <laughs> it's still been mostly just me. I mean, I've got really into cooking, but I haven't really cooked with anybody else much. And uh, other physical things, like just paying attention to my body more and, and clothes and actually noticing all of those physical details and stuff but again that's just me on my own um I my job has changed since four years ago what what did I say what was I four years ago again what was I doing I have no clue <laughs> I don't remember now we did anyway now I'm a private tutor so the focus of that is still I think I use my NI a lot I use uh uh, blast a lot but but it's with with kids and I think I think you kind of need to be able to play a little bit at least in order to be good with kids like if you're not pinging with them they they lose focus um but kids are a lot easier than adults because the the pressure's off and I'm I'm not I'm not good at play and I'm so it's it's stressful to try and do that with grown-ups. But with kids, they don't really 
they don't really notice your mistakes as much <laughs> at least yeah so I think it's sort of like a, an easier way to start working on it a bit I guess please with children <laughs> does that I make sense <laughs> it does it does but I also like the irony of it because like uh, <laughs> you know like you know the old like personality hacker stuff is like mm -hmm. you know when they talk about the functions there's like the adult the teenager the, the child so right. literally using your play with kids so <laughs> even like a child level yes with, with other, <laughs> other kids you know so I, I think that's like the irony of what like what you just said yes yes <laughs> I actually think it's easier to use play with adults than than kids you know really I'm double active in play right oh yeah yeah, but I can play with kids too if I if I want. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I'm not good at playing with kids in the sense that I'm not I don't know. I don't outside of my job, I don't play with kids very much and I'm not a I don't like do a lot of games with them or something. But uh but just purely in sort of the the ping, the ping sense, I guess, pinging off of them and Well, play play is an energy animal, right? So mm -hmm. Like, I feel like when you play with kids, it's more like an energy dom thing. You're like being goofy. You're just having fun. It's nothing, nothing like info dom. Like kids, you know, like I don't kids, I don't think kids do info dom stuff until like a, they're a little bit older. Um, no, but, although, although I'm a tutor, right? So like, it is all about the info. That's like right. yeah, the most important part. <laughs> and I'm not really good at the goofing around part. So I don't actually do a lot of that. <laughs> What do you tutor anyways? Uh, math and language arts. Oh, I see. Okay. So I I kind of started with a bunch of different things, but I've started specializing in especially dyslexic kids. So they're a little older. They're not like little, but they can't read yet because of dyslexia. Right. Um, You know, your type is weird because you're tribe above self, but then you have low play. It's like the weird like irony. I Yeah. I spoke to this with um Frank James. I don't know if you know him, the the, the YouTuber guy. He, oh yeah, 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 I know. It's, yeah, he's a play last INFJ, so kind of similar yeah. to you. Yeah. Uh, so he told me he does like fake play or something. Like he'll do like those playful skits, but he's really doing it by himself. Yeah, yeah. It's it's <laughs> like it's like a weird like irony thing. Um. So. So I'm just wondering, and then he also feels compelled to help the tribe because I, I I read some of his comments and stuff in his channel, and then like. Someone will say like he'll be like, oh, I can't make a video today. I, uh, it's I have some a bunch of stuff that I I I had to do this week, so I didn't get a chance to make a video. And then someone will say, oh man, but I was looking forward to your video. I I always watch your video on Fridays. And he'll be like, okay, fine, I'll make a video. And, <laughs> and he'll put together like a video real quick and stuff. And I'm like, there you go, that's tribe of self right there, you know. Yeah. So like, do you see yourself like you know you still have blast uh, first, right? So do you yeah. see yourself still serving the tribe just with like the blast instead of the play because uh obviously the play is like you know more child it's, it's a child uh, size you know <laughs> yes <laughs> a little baby one yeah um yeah I mean again I'm a teacher right so that's that's I think blasting is very compatible with teaching and I'm definitely helping people uh a lot and I'm good at it too I think I mean my my clients seem happy. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, so I feel I think my my helping people is satisfied by that. I don't know. Like do you need to do you need to play to help people? I don't think you need to play to help people. No, you don't. It just makes it more fun while you're learning. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of dry, right? Like if Yeah. <laughs> I mean I have blast savior like you. So I, yeah. I can I can do it. It's just um it's still hard for me though, because like I don't know, like like to, to bring it to your consume. Um like your consume uses your third and fourth function. Those are like the bottom two, right? So I have blast savior, which is my bottom two function. So it's hard, but I have it in a savior state. So I'm like trigger triggered using it all the time. Mm. <laughs> um because I feel triggered when I use SI, right? So um like my job right now, because I have a new job, I work as a recruiter now. Um, mm. and then it's like SI heavy, it's just emails all day. And then mm. I'm, it's like, and I'm looking for like tiny details, um, using a database and I'm just triggered all day. But like, I just remember what Dave and Chant say, you know, they're like, Hey, 
those double observers, they're doing it all the time, gathering and organizing. So um, it's not a bad thing to to get good at it. So I'm I'm doing it. And I actually noticed that after like four weeks of suffering, I <laughs> it, it it does improve. And I'm like quite shocked actually. It's like so I literally just think everything in life is just practice, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I agree. I'm with you. So I'm kind of curious what it would look like for you to use like play more from like the, an energy standpoint as opposed to just gathering facts from the tribe or having a discussion you know like do you ever get there I mean you're married right yeah yeah so do you ever like have like a fun interaction with your husband yeah <laughs> do I ever <laughs> uh be kind of sad if I never did but I guess some people might be like that um yeah for sure in fact I'm pretty sure he's play first I think I, I mean, I might be wrong, but I think he's play first and blast last, the opposite of me. Oh, what type is your husband? Well, he hasn't been typed by Dave and Shan, but I think he is S-E-F-E. -E. Oh. So yeah. that would be, yeah, that would be a, a ES, yeah, ESTJ jumper. S-E-F-E, -E, right, you said? So that's a... Yeah. That's an ESTP jumper, right? Oh yeah, ESTP jumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think so. So he doesn't. He uses T I and F E. You can see that kind of. Yeah, yeah. I think I can see. I mean, he plays. He does that pinging thing yeah. all the time. He's okay. uh he's missing blast, so he's uh a little bit more on the introverted side in some ways, yeah. you know. But but he's always <laughs> he's always playing with a lot um even if i got it wrong he can't be missing play that's that could not be but the play is a savior for sure <laughs> yes yeah, so, somewhere in there there's play yeah. um i think just being just being married to him has helped me learn about it a little bit and and he he needs the response he needs me to ping back too so i you know i want to kind of focus in on my little my little focus area or whatever uh but he needs me to he keeps drawing me out of it and I can get a little bit uh not annoyed but like it's it's difficult a little bit because I'm not really good at it used to right. it but um yeah oh he's great I wish ah I like him a lot and I think he's a very interesting person and I wish he would do interviews but I, he wouldn't. But anyway. Um, you know, it's interesting that you mentioned that, like your struggle with play, because I do feel like your fourth animal is the struggle. Like even the third animal doesn't seem like it's the worst. Like yeah, I don't think I have many consume problems. Yeah, because my girlfriend, she's an INTJ, right? Um, she was typed by David Chan. I don't know if I told you, but um, not sure. Yeah, so she's she's been officially typed by David Chan, INTJ. I mean, I'm in a typical ENFP INTJ relationship. You know, the, it, it doesn't get any more generic than that. <laughs> um, we're both jumpers, though, so it's a little bit different. She's NIFI. Mm. But her right. play is strong, even though she's like a mope. She's sleep consumed, play blast. Mm. Um, like when, when she got typed by Dave, Dave's like, you're Kendrick's opposite because I'm play blast, right? So, right, right, right. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like her play is, is, is high because like I feel like everyone can use the third prong uh, animal pretty well. Like, mm. I don't even I don't even think it should be labeled as a demon. I feel like most people can use their third animal pretty good. Like for yeah, my that's a, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I think you might have a I haven't thought of that, but I think yeah, it's like a ladder the way I see it. It's like you know, it's like step one, two, three. That's like the first three animals, mm -hmm. and it's sometimes like a drop off for your like fourth animal, which is mm -hmm. insane. Yeah. Which is insane, but it's so true. Um, so. Um, I want to bring up some stuff about play. Um, during our first interview, I don't think we talked about this. But, you know, there's more data that came in now about, like, play last people. Because there's a lot of more and more play last people are doing interviews and stuff. And they're, like, talking and, and talking about, like, their experience being play last. And um, uh, one of the things that I noticed, I don't know if you do this, though. But um, play last people, some of them said that they have a tendency to put a facade when they're dealing with a tribe. It's as, it's as if they can't just, like, be themselves. It's just, like, they, they have, like, and then... And and the reason why, um, play last people are 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 not energy dom, even though you have high sleep. 
is because you're draining your energy putting this facade on. Like the, the facade mm. drains your energy. Like it, and the facade can be different in, in many cases, right? right? So for some people, it's just to be professional. You know, you're at work, you need to put a professional face on. Um, you know, while in other situations, you're trying to be like, let's say you have a higher social type. Let's say you're one, then you're trying to be the best. So you gotta, you gotta act the part of being the best. Right. So, and that, that is draining to put on that facade. Right. So uh, what has your experience been like when it comes to being play last and, and uh, the, the facade thing, like, do you resonate with that or no? Yeah, totally. So much so that, you know, okay. You know, there's those, those things about yourself that you just think that that's what humans are like and that's just what people are like and then someone else is like no I'm not like that and you realize maybe it's just you right. <laughs> well, it's a little bit like that I kind of thought most people put on facades of some sort but maybe they don't as much as the play last people no. have you you haven't heard other people talk about that as much as play last people it, it's it's definitely a play last problem. Um, I mean, social type ones do it too. So if you're a social type one, then you would also put on a facade. Um, I'm, I'm not. I yeah, highly doubt it. But um, no, it's it's definitely like a play last thing, and it's cool. It's cool to to learn that. I'm like, wow, I didn't know that 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 was even. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I have friends that are play last, and they're a little bit stiff when I talk to them, and then I realize, oh, they're doing that stupid play last. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, I just have to get him out of my shell. So, like, I have a friend, for example, he's an INTJ. I think he's exactly the same type as you, actually. Like, I oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I think his social type might be different from you, though. Um, but, but from you, that's why that's why you guys are a little bit different. But like the oh, well, bring bring him up. Wait, bring him up again at the end when we talk about social types because I'm yeah. interested in it. I will. I will. Um, <laughs> but I notice when I just like straight up talk shit to him. Mm -hmm. He starts laughing and he the facade's kind of like melt a little bit. Yeah. So, and, and if I just like say things that is really offensive, that's like funny, funny offensive or anything. Yes. It, it, it melts even more. So I just have to use my play ironically to to melt the facade. Like I can bulldoze through the facade by just using excessive amount of play until like they can't they have they can't keep it together anymore. <laughs> my yeah. my yeah. husband is like that. Exactly what you said about the uh no way, I just forgot, but what you're saying about the words that are um mm -hmm a little too like, like... no no ah <laughs> bulldoze yeah bulldozing and uh and um teasing in a a particular Expensive. Ah! <laughs> it was a good the words you used were good and now i can't remember them. but like like offensive almost there we go like yeah. almost offensive ridiculous but, offensive yeah ridiculous and offensive and uh, yeah. But it's great. I I love it, and not not everyone does. Clearly, he offends people quite a lot. But but I like it. it sounds like an EP. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but it's 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 interesting though, because like I I know you guys put on a facade, and it's I mean not not really just a facade though. Sometimes uh, I don't know. Maybe it's like a shield also to protect yourself. I don't know. Um, but you know, there's some good parts to that because like um you you also get taken more seriously more um because sometimes when someone's more playful playful then people start taking this person as a joke, right? So yeah. uh, I personally experienced that a little bit. So I have to like, you know, turn that down a little bit and use the blast more. And then people be like, oh yeah, this person knows a lot, you know? So it's <laughs> like, um, so yeah, the, the play does have some downside to it. Um, I think the one pearl of the play is like the the candidness of it. Um, because like when when you're high play and low sleep, you're not really thinking things through. So it's like almost like you're not like a sociopath that's like over planning something. It's like, it's more authentic when, whenever yeah. you say something. Yeah. And people can like, can feel that from you. Like yeah. that's not from you. Because if you're overly like careful what you say, then it's almost like this person's hiding something, right? So um, so like I for my job interview, for example, one of the person, one of the things that the, the interviewer asked me, she's my manager now, was like, what would your boss say to you? Like my my one of my current bosses, because I, I still work in the facility. I I in my in, I have a fitness job. Um, I'm I'm switching careers. So um, mm -hmm. so she's like, what would your boss say about you? And then I I told her, my boss would tell you I, I'm annoying. And <laughs> like, <laughs> she just starts laughing, right? It's like, yes. 
she's like, who says this in an interview, right? Like, <laughs> no, like doesn't doesn't that just like screw up your chances of getting? <laughs> but like, well, I just say it. I, but I I told her I'm like, okay, you know, I I I am my boss will tell you I'm annoying, but I'm also reliable, and I'm annoying because like when we have a problem, I bring it up to him right away, and we have like a little fight, and I told him told told my uh my new manager that uh, me and my other boss were kind of like a. It's like it's like a stupid, ridiculous like people fighting in the back office. But then we're good afterwards, you know. So it's like we we put everything out on the table, and there's no like yeah. hard feelings because you got yeah. it out on the table, right? Yeah. Um, so you know, I think that helped me get my the job actually, because then you know you you have to go back and look at all the different applicants, right? And then like who stands out the most? I'm like, oh, this person's like really like just candid, you know? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I I really admire that in other people, people like you, I guess the. The candidness, the authenticity. Yeah. I'm kind of envious. <laughs> okay. So my question then is, why, why is it hard to just do it that way? Like, to, <laughs> just, to just be candid. Just just be yourself, you know? I mean, I feel like when I'm in situations like that, I kind of blank out a lot. And, like, I don't even know what is myself exactly. I, it's just sort of blank maybe it's a sort of social anxiety thing or something I don't know but um so partly it's that partly it's like as soon as I think of anything there's a big map of all the different ways people could respond and I get stuck in like analyzing the likelihood of it going this way versus going that way and by the time I kind of bring myself out of it it's too late and everyone's moved on to something else is it because you're an IJ? So when you're thinking of the different paths that could occur, they're all negative? Um, <laughs> I mean, they're not all negative, but I guess a lot of them are. Trying yeah, to exactly. avoid the negative paths. <laughs> exactly. And then you'll play it safe. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, then it's, because then, you know, with your EP husband, for example, he's not playing it safe. And not, then at all, you know, not at all. Not at all. People love him, right? So, yeah, well, half. You do, you do at least. Half the half the people love him and half the people don't like him at all. Very divisive. Yeah, but that's also good because then you know who to stay away from. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, uh, all right. Um so um I was gonna say something now about play last, um, uh, but I blanked out. Uh, <laughs> that's I'm, what I do all the time. I'm I'm the same as you. I have like sensory in the bottom, so I always mm. always forget about the stuff. Um so Maybe we can um loop back to to this later on if when something pops up. I want let's go to the social types. So okay. what social type do you think you are? Okay, well I'm really new to this and it was just like yesterday that I watched a bunch of the videos, but then I did call up my brother. Here's my <laughs> here's my TE. This isn't my idea. This is someone else's, my brother's idea. Yeah. <laughs> um but I he seems really good at typing I think he has a bit of a talent for it he uh he seems to get people mostly right a lot of the time so I'm not not saying he's right but anyway um I think I might be a number two I am definitely not a number one and I'm pretty sure I'm not a number four so it's kind of between a two and three and the number three is the one that they said was more um more IJ-ish, right? It kind of goes along with the blast and the IJ. Um, so it's, it's a little hard for me to tease out like what's my social type versus what's just me being an IJ. But I think, I feel like there is kind of that a little bit of lack of congruence between me and my social type. The way they describe that so anyway that's what i'm going with right now but as they said you know people like to type themselves upside down so i think david shan actually said that social types are easier for people to self-type um okay. it, they said that social type is pretty obvious like when they, they said that when uh, people when people when they start typing people for their sexual modalities it's kind of like no no one ever argued with them hmm. people argue about the animals and stuff right and and like the actual type, like the Myers Briggs type, but like the actual like sexual modalities, no one ever argued with yeah. them. About that. It's kind of like people kind of already know. Like yeah. like when they said I was audio, I'm like okay, make right. 
yeah yeah Definitely. I was still I still get a little confused about masculine versus feminine sensory sometimes but the the feminine de yeah that's yeah definitely Very so obvious. um I think the best way to do the social type though is to find out what you're missing not what you are so mm. like so interesting if, so like I, like I do animals yeah yeah exactly so let's let's go over the, the different ones so definitely not a one you're not like yeah. the, the person that's like hyper competitive wants to be the best yeah. no no crush others like that's not yeah. I don't see that so so process of elimination yeah that's definitely not there and also um uh, uh, you said you're not a four um so four is yeah more closer to four than one it seems like but okay so that's a clue um mm -hmm. uh, so the the four the force demon is they don't have a name to anything they don't have ambition <laughs> they just want to mm -hmm. be my girlfriend's a four and mm -hmm. When I describe a four to her, she was like, oh, yeah, that's me. I just want to be happy. I just want to do like <laughs> and hang out with friends and family, even yeah. though she's work, right? You yeah. know, like, yeah. So she's like definitely a four, right? So you don't see yourself um, like you don't you don't feel like you have a problem with um, with putting a stamp uh, your name onto something like having a like being the best at, at something like you don't feel like that's like the, the worst. The biggest no, problem, I don't think that's the biggest problem. Yeah, I I don't think I mean I don't think it's right up at the top, but okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. Process of elimination. <laughs> so, so that hence why you got to two and three. So yeah. Um, but two and three, they're very obvious. So I think you would be able to narrow yourself down here. Um the two's biggest problem is they have trouble focusing because they wanna almost it's like channel changing, but they're more like the jack of all trades. That's the best way to explain it. They're like they're like good a bunch of, at a bunch of stuff, and they're good at a personnel. So usually twos become managers, um, or entrepreneurs because they they just they just have this compulsion to, um, to build with the tribe. Because uh, the, the the saviors of the two is two and four, right? So four is friends and two is work. So the obsession of two is to work, but because of the savior with with, with four, it's to work with friends, right? So. Hence, hence why they would be uh, good as a manager. Um, hence that why they would be good at um, being an entrepreneur because they can build a business with other people, right? Uh, and then Dave and Chan, Dave, Dave said that the two's biggest weakness is their friends because they, they refuse to sacrifice their friends uh, in favor of upgrading even more. That's why they're not a one because they, they, they might have the talent. So everyone has the talent of a one because they, they actually said in the videos that once, a lot of ones are actually... They want to be the number one, but they're actually they have no talent. Right. <laughs> so it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of mean, but it's kind of <laughs> like they have the one mentality, but they don't have the the talent of the one. And then you see all these fours full of talent, and they're mm. squandering it. And you're they like, they don't have the drive. Yeah. yeah, no drive. And like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Like, because like a lot of fours are really talented. Like my girlfriend, yeah. super strong in the gym. She can deadlift like two plates on each side, and she can do like nine full pull ups. But no drive whatsoever to succeed. She does that for fun, you know? Um, and um, she's really good at art too. Like my girlfriend's like so good at art. Like she has so much talent. I'm like, why don't you sell your stuff on Etsy? You can make so much money. She's like, nah, I just do it for fun. I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, so so that's like the that's like the case, right? So um, while if you're a three, your biggest problem is responsibility. Because two is the, the they 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 label two as uh, work slash responsibility, right? So the twos, they want to be responsible for everything. Like, like, uh, it's, it's like, that's a good thing about the two. Like, uh, Jocko Willing, for example, you know, he says like discipline equals freedom, right? That's a kind of thing like he's saying. Mm -hmm. So he feels responsible to have discipline because he wants freedom. So he, he, he puts a pressure on himself to, to, to do the right thing, essentially. N not to be number one, but just to do the right thing, essentially. Mm -hmm. Um, while threes, they won't take responsibility for anything, which is kind of annoying. Like, if you know, I don't know if you, uh, no any threes um but like i have i know a lot of people who will never apologize they're never wrong because like that's taking responsibility if you apologize right mm -hmm. um you know and then they're like they have like a routine because threes are folk are, are hyper focused on routines it's like everything has to be a routine and there's also a flex part you know because like once uh, one of the description for a one is flex which is showing off right or looking good um mm -hmm. essentially so um so as a three because you're so good you're, you're a specialist right that's like the label you're so specialized is one thing. You become really good at it and you become cocky and you become a little bit arrogant and full of yourself, but just in a small box, right? 
mm-hmm. right? But outside of the box, you're like, I'm not responsible for this, 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 and this. I'm responsible mm-hmm. for this box, and I'm the best at mm-hmm. this. And then, like the the way um David Chan describes it is, uh, two twos and threes are friends, and also the worst enemies, and ones and fours are like friends and the worst enemies, right? Right. It's like, um, you know, the fours just want to like have someone take charge, right? That someone would drive, right? Yeah. And then the ones need like a, a bunch of minions to to worship yes. them. So it's like perfect, right? And then they, you know, the force like giving, getting like free stuff. And then the ones are like the, you know, the good ones will give away all the free stuff to all the force. Yeah. But they don't have to drive to get it themselves, right? Kind of, <laughs> it's kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, and then you got the twos. Uh, they don't really want to just focus on like one task. They want to be like the jack of all trades. So they love having trees, six. They can slot them in in the right places, you know, and then they'll be the best at those those places. But then when where they'll butt heads, uh, one scenario could be where if the three was like, or the, the two needs them to 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 do something else, because let's let's say someone quits the at the, at the workplace, they need someone co- to cover this one spot, or they, they need to work longer hours or something. The trees will be like, nope, I got my nine to five, I got this one task, I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm not responsible, right? So it's like, uh, and then, then the twos will be like, why is being such a jerk? You know, like, can you just do it for a short time while we find someone else? Three snow, like, this is my box. It's a very IJ like, right? But, mm-hmm. but like, what they found was like, there's a lot of EPs that are threes, like Jordan Peterson. I don't know if you saw the video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, so based on all this information, what do you think? What What do you think you're missing? I'm I'm still leaning to the two. Uh, I mean, responsibility is a sort of a fairly big thing for me I guess it seems bigger than um and I really don't have a lot of flexing which would be the number two for the second one for uh for number three um and I don't know I mean I used to do things like that as a teenager and stuff I'd like organize my friends into groups and make them have different jobs and I'd be the president of our little group and we'd do projects (laughs) yeah and unfortunately, they didn't have quite as much something drive or energy towards that sort of thing as I did. So they usually fizzled out after a while because I was the one that was most interested. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I did try to do that at least. And uh, I don't know. I've had a I've had a few different sorts of jobs. I'm worried that I'm peacocking here, but. Um, because because it's I before when I was just getting into this I thought I was an OE instead of OI and I definitely see now that I'm definitely I'm definitely OI but that might have been to where some of that came from is if my social type is a little bit more OE consume oriented I might have kind of been seeing that aspect of my life um the sort of jack of all trades things like I really like a lot of different things and I'll get into different things for a while and uh, I thought that was me being savior consumed but it's not yeah it's it's so I'm so surprised how many like IJs are twos it's kind of Mm. it's 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 interesting because like it helps you because you're not like super IJ or mm-hmm. an IJ. You don't want to be super of like whatever your type is. It's kind of bad. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it's good to an extent, but like it's almost yeah. like it's like it's almost like you're helpless at everything else except for that the one thing where you're, where you're hyper good at, right? So, yeah. um, but like even for INTJs, like you know, like there's like like I think the only example they've used so far that's a one is like Steve Jobs, mm-hmm. which which you can see obviously he's. Mm-hmm. He has no friends and he he just wants to, <laughs> you know, build the best company ever, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so um so if you're two, that means you have save your friends. So does that mean you like people even though you're play last? It's like Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's part of also the mm, what's that word? Part of the thing, the incongruence in my life is um yeah and i mean some of this is more it's been a little more difficult recently um 
and it's hard for me to make friends. So most of the friends I'd be talking about have been friends for many, many, many years. I, I made these friends when I was like six or something. That's a good um, thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So I've gotten past all of that play last issue and I don't need to have my facade around them, you know, all of that. Oh, because they already know you. And then if you're then yeah. it calls you out if you're doing something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice. Um yeah, I think my friend I was telling you about, I think he's, he might be a one. Um because <clears throat> uh he started a business and he he makes four million dollars a year now. Kind Oof. of really crazy. Um and I, I see him like once or twice a year. Um I met him through another friend who's like trying to get into business also, and I'm also trying to like do business stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, I remember he was we were talking and stuff, and I remember I I'll never forget what he said to me. It's it's so good, it's so true. It kind of bothers me, but it also it's so true. So I'm kind of trying to figure out how to, how to like what I need to do about it. He said to me, "So Kendrick, your business has a lot of potential to grow, and you're already making money." The reason why you're not where you should be is because you're not willing to do what it takes mm. to succeed. And I'm like, <laughs> ah, and you know what he means by doing what doing what uh by willing to do what it takes. Stop hanging out with your friends and get to work. Right. <laughs> don't see your friends. Don't hang out with your girlfriend. He breaks up with the moment the girl gets in the way of his work. He breaks up with him right away. Right. He's like stone cold. Like he he will yeah. break. If you get in the way of success, he's a high flex. So he's always dressing nice and stuff. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like some people think he's metro kind of metro because he's like like he's like so done up. Like right. you know, hair, his clothes and stuff. You know, uh, you know, he's introverted still, so it's not like as blatant. Like with the competition, yeah. thing, you know, like Gary V, he's like a one, right? Yeah. And he's your face competitive. So when you're more introverted, it's more like a subtle comp competitiveness. Um, but I I do know he's competitive because he asked me like one time we were like in a place where, like where you can work out and stuff and he's like you want to race you know so it's like you know I'm like what like I, I, okay <laughs> you know? I didn't think it's serious I don't really care because I'm not like I have demon one right but yeah. like, um I guess we're so, here. yeah sorry he's a demon one are you a four then I'm a two or a two okay I, I two has demon two. one that would make sense sorry I just got confused about the which demon goes with which one. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you're you're two, four, one, three, essentially. Right. That's gonna right. be your order. That's your and your social type stack, you could say. Right. Um. So the the one is something that you would eventually figure out, I think. Um. And then the four, that the three will be the hardest. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially. Uh. Maybe not for you because you're an IJ, so you have like yeah. I think there's a little bit of a yeah. Yeah, which is a, which is a good thing. That's a good thing. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the worst thing to be is like a like an EP and like a four. That's like a worse combination. Right. Right. Yeah, because like you're over consuming and gathering, but you're not taking responsibility for mm. to make sustainable to make that sustainable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because like, how do you sustain that? Like, like you know, like, I don't know if you remember the old video that David Chan made about like the enemy of the consumer class or the consumerism or whatever. And they have like a picture of like the guy eating the money or something. <laughs> and then, so like, yeah, if you're an EP and you're four, you're kind of screwed unless someone like helps you out, you know, mm -hmm. which I can see causing problems because like one of your relatives would be like, I've been like, you've been freeloading off me this whole time and you haven't done anything to produce because you need to, to blast essentially to produce, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're a four, you have no no drive to produce. So like, what are you supposed to do? Like, I, I don't know yeah. what, your, what social type your husband is. Hopefully he's not a four, you know, <laughs> just, just kidding. If he yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You have, you have Rachel to, to, to give you money. <laughs> <laughs> I I have to think about that more. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't I need to sleep on that more. I don't have an answer right away. It's all good. <laughs> um so you're two, so you're a you're a tutor. Um and then is that a business then that you're running? Yeah, yeah. It's just me right now. <laughs> I mean, I might end up, you know, having people under me at some point, but it's not that way right now do you plan on expanding or maybe no i'm not ready for that right now but i could see that being something that could happen that makes sense yeah i was talking to my friend uh, the intj guy same type as you he, he he said uh 
I think he said you could make up to like what 70 75k a year by yourself and then then you need to start expanding afterwards like getting mm-hmm. staff and, to work for you and, and whatnot and then yeah he's info dom so it's, it's kind of nice to get those like number figures like yeah the, yeah yeah a milestone um um all right cool um let's go over the next part uh do you have any questions for me by the way oh oh probably uh oh i wanted to know what oh yeah so you're a two as well that's cool right that would make sense um and that was pretty easy for you to figure out for you no i I kind of swing between two and four to be honest like Mm. like i don't know stop i I need to go like email them i i heard i heard maybe i shouldn't say this out loud okay i'm not gonna say it i'll say to you i'll say to you (laughs) Okay. <laughs> I don't want to cause chaos for them. So I'll just, yes. <laughs> last time I did something, it, it it like did a ripple effect and they got bombarded with like emails apparently. Oh, great. <laughs> they, had to to my, they had to go to my channel, tell, 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 like, you know, I don't know. If, did you see my video where like Cherie um, pretended to be an ENFP? <laughs> no, I didn't. That's funny. Yeah. She said, so like, it was cool. But it was funny because um, they, they made, they released a video like, um, a while ago it's really good it's called um um what's the word i was looking for something thoughts like uh not disturbing thoughts but it's something along those lines like um it's like you're you're thinking of something that's really messed up and and you should and you feel like you shouldn't be thinking about it but but you do and like it's like intrusive those intrusive thoughts intrusive thoughts yes 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 you got it and then they said that the, the type that has the most intrusive thoughts are the ISTJs and ISFJs hmm. uh, because of the NE at the bottom. So they're, they're a joker. Right. Interesting. At the, at the bottom end, right? It's like the ENFPs, when they say ridiculous stuff, it's those are just intrusive thoughts that they just verbalize. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. It's like, and, and that's why people think, you know, ENFPs are funny because or ENTPs because they're just saying whatever they're thinking, right? Yeah. Let's the filter. intrusive thoughts are getting... Um, what do you call it? It's getting, it's coming out all the time. It's not being like kept in. Mm-hmm. All of something in, that's when like bad things happen, right? Right, right. Yeah. So, so they showed a bunch of videos of ICJs and ICJs having intrusive thoughts, thinking like, I'm going to go hit that duck. It's like, but they're so cute. Why would I assault the duck? It's like, you want to hit that duck. I'm like, you know, it's like, it's like kind of messed up, right? <laughs> yeah. So like Cherie is like an ICJ. And then apparently, I don't know like what the, what the thought process is some people told me that this has been planned for a while while well, some people say it was like been spontaneous but anyways she came to my ch- so she went to the facebook and told everyone she got retyped as an enfp because there was like a, a retyping thing going on i don't know if you you know about that i didn't know yeah so david chan started giving away free retyping um huh? yeah if you think that you got um mistyped or partially mistyped then you, you got a free retype the only oh. the only caveat should- is that if your type is the same, you have to pay the money. Right. So only, only if your type is wrong. Right. Yeah. I'll, I should tell my brother. He's mostly very satisfied, but it's still confusing one part of it. So. Yeah. Uh, and and the cool thing about that though was a lot of people were actually partially mistyped, usually by just one or two animals, like just like right. like the middle ones usually, you know. Right. Um, or the sexual modalities was slightly mistyped, like you know, right. maybe your type as a as a double feminine they were actually a masculine feminine you know it's like right. very minor yeah. so yeah yeah uh or the last animal was was wrong you know so it's it, but they they all the first animals was right no there was nobody that they retype that was wrong in the sense of like the old myers briggs like if right, you so type as an indj different. you're still an indj maybe but yeah, a yeah. different kind right mm-hmm. so sherry went to the went to the facebook group and <laughs> she was an enfp all of a sudden and she she went from an energy energy dom ICJ to an info dom ENFP. Right. And she went from double feminine to masculine feminine. And then I saw that and I didn't read the whole thread, right? Apparently she admitted it was like fake somewhere, but it's like really tiny. So no one, like not a lot of people saw it. Right. So I got her to my channel and then I interviewed her and then she just, she for one whole hour, she pretended to be an ENFP. It was really good. It's almost like sociopathic almost. <laughs> I don't know how you can keep that up for an hour, but whatever. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that would be. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, it, you talk about like keeping a facade. That's that's some that's like a next level, um, and then and then uh yeah, it caused so much issue like because then everyone started emailing David Chan thinking they they, they were also mistyped. 
because like she went from ICJ to ENFP, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, oh man. And then like they had to come to my channel and be like, you know, like leave a comment in the in the video to say like, what, what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? You know, like, you know. And then I had to change the title to like, you know, ICJ tricks real in ENFP, you right. know, or something like that. <laughs> oh man. And then so I'm like. So like, yeah, that's like a good example of like the IJ causing the most chaos, is, right. you know? So, um, so anyways, do, do you, have you done anything like that where you're like, cause you're an IJ and then yeah. cause the most chaos, but it's your SE. So it's not like any, because yeah. the has a bigger effect, kind of like, uh, you know, like Putin, he's an ICJ. Yeah. Right. I put him as an ICJ. So now he caused like the war. So when, right. when the, when the, the NE demon ones cause the chaos, it's worse. Yeah. But yours is SE. So do you find like you make like a huge amount of mess or like you knock things over or you break things as a result that like SE at the bottom? Like what kind of uh, chaos do you that? I mean, I'm kind of clumsy, but hmm, chaos. I don't know. I don't I don't see myself causing a lot of chaos. But maybe I'm missing something. I'll give you an example. My girlfriend is an IJ, INTJ like you, a double feminine though. Oh my God, she's so messy. Everywhere is like, there's no organization for the physical objects. Anything she touches is like a tornado. Like I get so triggered because I have demon SI, it's masculine. So I have to organize it. Right. And if I have to organize, I get triggered, right? So I, I, I'm I, like a super minimalist because I don't want to organize anything. Like I don't want to use my SI. So I purposely don't have anything to begin with, like nothing right. physical. But when you have SE, even though it's in the bottom, you're still going to be gathering physical stuff, right? So how are you organizing it? Like, you know, so are, do you organize the physical stuff or is it like whatever? Oh, uh, I'm not that messy, really. I do uh, have some some organization. I'm not, I'm not great at cleaning, I guess. Cleaning is worse than tidying. Um... Uh, I don't have a ton of stuff. I don't gather a ton of stuff, partly because I'm, I get, I'm a little frugal, <laughs> a little frugal and minimalist too. I guess I worry about money more than I should, and uh, I I don't I don't know. I just I can't think of I can't think of a way. I'm not like a neat freak, but. I've done I've done random stupid things sometimes with cooking or something. I like I'll be following the recipe too much and the recipe has a stupid mistake and I'll follow it even though it's really stupid. And yeah. I'm just like follow the instructions and without thinking about the yeah. but I don't know. I can just think of little things. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I can't. Maybe you're not seeing it because you're, because <laughs> it's in the bottom, right? Yeah. Um, It's kind of interesting how you said you're frugal though. So I wonder if that's like an info dom thing or, or something or like a social type thing. Cause like my friend who's like a one, he's, he'll say the most cocky things to me, you know? Uh, obviously because you're one you're like a little bit showy off right so mm. high flex yeah he used to be like five hundred dollars for a one hour coaching call with someone that's cheap that's what they say to me i pay that all the time like i don't know why people make a big deal of it you know just pay mm. who cares he'll take a 200 dollar uber back home he doesn't care you know mm. like he he just has so much like um abundance mentality when it comes to money mm he'll say things like that and it kind of like it's kind of nice to hear it it's like I maybe mean, i should think that way because i'm a little bit frugal too but it's yeah like, I, yeah i wish i could be more he's like 500 dollars. that's cheap you know two thousand dollars for an online course i bought 10 of five of them already you know, <laughs> like, what the hell <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know and he'll say things to me like oh yeah i went to a i went to a seminar for um for million for people who, who business that makes millions of dollars is so so you can't go unless you make millions of dollars. So I'm like, okay, this person's high flex for sure. Yeah. <laughs> right. But he's still an IJ because like I remember I went to like Chipotle with him and he can't 
can't do sensory stuff. He can't even get the 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 the, the, uh, the fountain drink. He can't even use the fountain drink. Right. He's like messing it up. It's like I was like, dude, you're an idiot when it comes to this. Like, <laughs> you know, you know. I'm like, yeah, you're definitely an ITJ. You know, <laughs> still things problem. You know, not people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, interestingly, I I think my dad might be a two as well, and he's also quite frugal. That's sort of where I got it from. I mean, he's not that frugal. He's not like frugal, frugal, but he has a money anxiety part right. of things and uh, not the abundance mindset. Hey, I wonder if that's like the responsibility thing of the two. Yeah, maybe, maybe. You know, you got to use your sense. money responsibly. You shouldn't yeah. squander yeah, it, yeah. you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that could make sense. Yeah. I think there might be a little bit for me too about the like the future sort of an NI-ish future paths sort of thing. And is it because you're masculine SE also? So you see money as like solid, you know? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I noticed people with feminine SE are not frugal at all. Mm. <laughs> it's like it's almost it's like not real, you know. Like my girlfriend's right. not frugal at all. She's feminine. Right. You know. Like she'll just buy the most random thing just because she... and then you know, save your FI. So it's like illogical too. Right. It's kind of weird for like an INTJ. It's like that doesn't make any sense. Like, are you are you really an INTJ? You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm still thinking about that chaos question a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. gotta sleep on it. Yeah, you'll remember it later after the interview. Yeah, like, or like a week later. <laughs> That's that's what I like about like the with the high sleep people. Because sometimes I talk to someone that's high sleep, and we've had like a discussion, and then two weeks later they'll come back to me. It's like, so about that thing we talked about, I'm like, we should think about that. It's like, yeah, yeah, you know. So, um, I I guess that's that's you. But I I think the conclusion I have here for your type though is you have like a you have a conflicting type. Your type is very much conflicting. The two and an IJ that's conflicting. Mm -hmm. Um. Play last and travel of self. Mm-hmm. Who would save your friends and play last? Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, yeah. Well, well, I think that's. I think that has been a big part of, and it's why also people see me quite differently. Uh, now, part of this is the Myers Briggs problem, like the old non-objective personality part. But uh, the people who are into Myers Briggs would always type me as an F and I think as a feeler and I think because they were conflating people things with with F and I have enough of those elements you know the people things it's there it's there and maybe the number two if I'm right about that and the tribe above self um so yeah, where was I going with this? Yeah, it's just, it is, it's always been funny. Like, there's always people, people who don't know me quite as well see me very differently than I am. Probably the facade part is part of it, too. Yeah. But it's, and it's, it's always, I think it's always been extra. Oh, here's something. I, I still find it a little bit hard to see myself as um, a single observer I know I I know I am that does actually make sense but it was hard for me to see because I do have so many people related problems and I don't think they're actually a single decider people problems it's different than that but but it would make sense to me with my type being so weird as it is with people that people stuff is just it's all a little messy or confusing to me what people problem do you have oh i don't know people misunderstand me all the time and then i think they must be right probably my te going in there like oh then i must be like this but then other people don't and i want to make people happy but also and I don't know it's just I don't know how to deal with people (laughs) it sounds like to me people misunderstand you because you have a facade so then they don't get to know the real you 
Yeah. And then you feel misunderstood. And then and then it's like a vicious cycle, you know? Yeah. And I'm kind of mad at them for misunderstanding me, but really it's my fault probably. Cause I, I have something similar. Like I like one of my problem with people, because I I you know, like um if you're play last or sleep last, you're gonna have more people problems, right? So like for me, I feel like, oh, people are disrespecting me, right? Like people are not A, people are not taking me seriously. And B, they are uh, being disrespectful off my time. But it's really my fault if you look at it, because A, I'm using play so much, so I'm acting so playful that how can you take me seriously if I'm being playful, right? So unless I'm using my blast and consume, which which I which I do, and uh, then you would just think I'm like the the the, the funny fun person, not like the mm-hmm. person that you would go to 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 take things seriously, even though uh, I have the serious side too, right? So. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm like, okay, well, you know, people are like disrespecting me. Well, cause I'm not using my sleep to set boundaries. That's my fault. You know, cause sleep is, yeah. um, you know, uh, preserving your energy from the tribe essentially. So mm-hmm. that's my fault. Like it, it's not anyone's fault. Plus uh, my, my, my sleep, yours is a little bit different. Your place ST, right? My sleep mm-hmm. is SF. Mm-hmm. So, um, I vividly remember this when I was in my twenties, I had a face, I went all into SF. Because I was single, I was trying to meet girls. So I, I went to the gym to get really fit. I started dressing really nice and stuff. And like, people started taking me more seriously because I look good. Like, I was like 9% body fat. And people in the gym were going up to me. It's like, hey, man, can I add you to Facebook? Can you tell me what your workout routine is like? You know? And then I started getting more dates. So obviously, it works. Um, the, SF, the SF stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> eventually, met my girlfriend together for 10 years now, which is great. Nice. But, but like... um. You know, and then I stopped with the SF stuff after I got a girlfriend because I'm like, I don't need this anymore. Throw this in the garbage, you know. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then now I'm like, why? We, why am I getting disrespected? I'm like, oh, okay, I know why. Not doing that SF thing. Not not trying yes. to look good like I was when I was a single. Ah, uh, I'm like, okay, my fault. It's on me. 100 percent on me. I used to do like my hair. I used to have like an earring. You know, I used to be I used to be, like, dress really cool and stuff. And then now it's like, you know, yeah, I'm not doing that. So. You're like okay, I'm like I'm not eating as healthy as before too. Before I had like a regimented meal plan. That's why I was like so like I was like nine percent body fat. Now I just like I have a girlfriend, so we just eat whatever we want, right? I mean, <laughs> we're fixing it now. We're like on the repair right now. We're both <laughs> fixing it. Um, we're meal prepping again. Right. Like no. So there you go. That's what happens when you disrespect your fort. Um. Yes. Fort animal. All this bad yes. things happen. You know. Yes. So that's why I was asking you earlier at the start of the interview or the discussion, like. Have, are, are you doing anything for for that play to alleviate all these issues that you're having that you're kind of describing to me right now? Because <sighs> it sounds like it's within your control to, to to alleviate it, just like the SF and the sleep loss is within my control, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Am I doing? I mean, I'm I'm sort of vaguely trying to not just to just to just say stuff, you know, just whatever say stuff if it ends up having a bad result oh well you know whatever it happens and hey, yeah i have a istj friend who's um play last and she's kind of like also like kind of a little bit stiff the stiff side mm-hmm. and very serious but when she drinks alcohol she becomes like super fun <laughs> so have you <laughs> tried drinking yeah have you tried drinking or like <laughs> You know, like, I well, I, I I need to go to more social situations. I mean, that's a problem. All of my friends are from when I was six, and and uh, a lot of them are kind of they're married with kids now. I don't have any kids myself, so I kind of need I need new friends. <laughs> I mean, I still I like the old ones too, but it's our life situations are very different now, and um. I need I need other people in my life but it's hard to do that it's hard to get more people that I haven't known since I was six do you still hang out with those friends from six years old like once in a while yeah yeah one sometimes just less it's just harder to they have babies and they live a little farther away than they used to and 
I've I've been thinking I've been thinking of doing the like a meetup stuff and just joining some meetups of areas I'm interested in and that's how I met my play my play last INTJ friend. Um we went to a book signing for an author. His name's Chris Gilbo. I don't know if you've heard of him. He wrote a book called The Hundred Dollar Startup. Mm-hmm. Um anyways, I, I went there and then that's where I met him. So you that's like going to like those kind of events like or like seminars or something. I think those are mm-hmm. good to to meet people. I mean mm-hmm. he's friends for like a play last guy. Mm-hmm. He's really awkward and he has lots of friends. So he's I guess I guess being tribe above self makes a big difference. He does help. He does he does like if you ask him for help, he will give you tips. You know? So it's not the the, the tribe above self compulsion is still there. Mm. I which I think helps a lot if you are like a social type one. Mm. It's like you're you, even yeah. like all about yourself. You it still, would mitigate it a bit. You still, still want to help people because you're tribe above self. So it's like not it's actually good to be a social type tribe above self. <laughs> You know, mm. yeah, yeah. So Rachel, um, we're gonna wrap up the discussion soon. Uh, is there okay. anything else that you want to discuss before we wrap this up? Anything that you that we forgot to talk about? Oh, nothing that's coming to mind. I'm sure. I'm sure things will come later. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't worry. We're planning that other one. So yeah, <laughs> bring that there. Um. <laughs> All right. Well, it's good having you back and uh, talking to you about your journey with um, your last animals. Uh, still a work in progress, just like yes. everyone else. So it's all good. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It's hard. It's hard, you know, so it's, it's, it's okay. Um, and then good to know your social type is two. Um, so that's that's like the new thing. <laughs> the new yeah, thing. yeah. Um, it, that's exciting because like they, they try not to expand the typing and now they mm-hmm. have the social type. So it's like, there's two, thir- there's 32 kinds of INTJs now, or and now there's like times four now. Yes. So how many is that? Like 120 ish. Yeah. 128. Is that what it is? What? Well, what times there's? You said how many are there? Yeah, there's like 32 kinds of INTJs previously with like the sexual modalities and stuff, and then right. times four. So that's like 128. Is that right? Uh, 128. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got my math right. Still Asian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so there's like 128 of you guys now. So that's, yes. that's crazy, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I like I like that. I like that. I mean, I feel like it should be like that. If you have a personality system, there's so many different kinds of people. It makes sense. Yeah, because David Shan's original goal was to get like, I said, like 500 of each specific type and then send it to like 23 and Me or like one of those companies. Mm-hmm. How are you going to get 500 of each with like yeah. the social type now. There's like 128, just INTJs alone. And then there's, yeah. that, you know, 16. Yeah. Right? Like, how are you going to get like, is it 500 that they wanted or is it 50? I forgot, whatever. I don't remember. Yeah. It's still a lot. Even if it's 50, that's a lot of people. It's still a lot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyways, we'll wrap it up here. So, okay. Thank you for coming out and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. All right. Take care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>